Gerai Jerome. Terus darah pun Gerai Jerome. guys so this morning we are heading out because we were told yesterday by a lady who works with the government initiative that there's a child in trouble in the next village well close to the next village and up in the hills it's probably why we've never heard of them before so Ali went yesterday on the motorbike and he met this child and they don't have mattresses or anything like that and it sounds like the trial child has cerebral palsy So before we go to the family, we have to stop off and pick them a mattress up, some blankets and we're putting together a food parcel as well, which in part will have to come from our food store up at Feathers Tail, but I've forgotten to get it so we're heading back to go and put that in the car now. And then we're going to brave the off-road to get to their house in what is now the rain, so let's see how we get on. Ah, <laughs> Sandy Bully! <laughs> You forgot to get the sword, I'm joking. <laughs> If anyone's wondering why we have this material stuffed along here we did buy a 26 year old car and it's very strong mechanically speaking but it does have its flaws uh, one of which one of which being that it leaks and I've already shorted the electrics once when it started raining so we've got that tucked in to soak up any rain that comes in so it's unbelievably bad this road where we're heading at the moment and I have to laugh Otherwise, I'd be worried. <laughs> Did a small experiment. The ground's gotten too soft even in the last 10 minutes, so we've got a one hour trek to get food to this family uh, and to make sure the boy's okay because he has cerebral palsy and he's been laid on the floor for God knows how long. So, Vivi came calling us children of God as, go, as they do sometimes and Tom has given her our umbrella because he's very 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 soft in that, in that respect and it's nice that she has an umbrella now, but it does mean that we've only got one umbrella. <sighs> oh. And an hour's walk ahead of us. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Ah. Which way are we going, Ali? Down there. Over, there. over this hill, yeah. yeah? Over there. I need to, to, to go up the hill. Okay. Yeah. So we've got to go down here and up the hill. And I have the beans, Ali has the younger, Tom has the mattress, Pretty has the cooking oil, and sugar. And sugar. <laughs> That's where we've come from.
Hey, go, Manuel. Enjoy. Enjoy. This amazing father, you see this line? He was digging a trench and laying pipe to bring water to his home for his children and he ran out of money before he got to his house so it finishes just here through the trees. So we're going to finish laying that pipe water for him and then he'll have a tap here. Um, and we're also going to have to build them a house as well I think because as you can see. So we're here. We met the child who has cerebral palsy. His name's Emmanuel. And his parents have got it really tough here. Like very tough. But they do love Emmanuel and they do care about him and they're looking after them to the best of their ability. But they just don't have much ability. They don't have resources, they don't have food, and they barely have a house to be honest if you look. So this is where the children are staying and the plot thickens a little bit because there are uh, seven children living here all together. So one with cerebral palsy. And this is a, he's a good band, this guy. He's dug a trench, I can see it, and it's huge, this trench, down a mountain. And he's laid pipeline himself for money he earned in the fields to try and bring water here because he wants to establish this as his home. He, they own the land from, from the generations before them. So he ran out of money and he miscalculated, so the pipes fell short, so we're going to do that for them first because that will help us to get a house built. He's also tried to build a room out of bricks but only gotten that far and the government provided some assistance with a wheelchair but I mean, this is the problem with these government initiatives. What use is a wheelchair when your child's living here, you know? It's, it's not of any use to you whatsoever. So we need to get a house built, so I'll definitely be doing, asking for some help. I'll be asking for some assistance to get that finished because they need a room. They have such a hard life here. It's unbelievable, it really is. But we've been caught out in the rain big time here. Filthy. So they took the plastic cover off the mattress <laughs> and they're walking like a pantomime horse behind me. Uh. Staying in high spirits because that was just gut-wrenchingly upsetting to be perfectly honest. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 